Hey lovely people on the internet, so today I am going to do a Disney and Harry Potter haul which I haven't done in a wee while, so as usual there are quite a few things. Um, good little mix, so I'm quite excited for this one, so let's get started. So first up I will start with some clothes and then some socks, there's always clothes and socks in these it would appear. So firstly is this rather awesome Little Mermaid pyjama top. Um, it says mermaid hair don't care and I quite like the fact that the colours are just a little bit more pastely than the usual ones for Ariel and there we go, we've got a little scuttle which is quite unusual and a little flounder right at the bottom yeah, super comfy and cosy this one really like it um, but yeah, I love the fact that I tend to always have odd pyjama tops and bottoms so this one goes quite well with a lot of what I've got <laughs> Next is another top that I wear as a pyjama top, technically it's another, it's um, like an all top but um, I tend to wear it as a pyjama one and it's this Harry Potter crop top one which says I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. I quite like the grey ribbed, it makes it quite nice and soft as a pyjama top um, but yeah I mean I have one, I think I have one as a crop top a couple of times but yeah mostly wear it as a pyjama top um, and it's really good for that to be fair. Next is this really fab Winnie the Pooh top from Primark. All of these are from Primark by the way, that's kind of normal. But yeah, and I just really love the quilt on this one. It's super, super cute. And really goes with my aesthetic around food. <laughs> and then lastly is this really cute Harry Potter cappy top. I quite liked it because it was a burgundy, which is good because I'm a Gryffindor, but it's just got the standard Hogwarts crest, which I really liked. Really nice one for the summer. So next up are socks and first up are some Harry Potter ones and these are Honey Dukes inspired ones. So you've got ones for every flavour bean and then two different ones for chocolate frogs and I love that this looks like the chocolate frog packaging. They're just really really nice. Super cosy. I love the cute colours. I've really got into with my converters. Um, I quite like the little coloured bit that sticks over the top of them at the minute. It's, um, so people can't see the pattern but they get the hint of the colour which is quite nice. Next are some Disney socks, um, these are also train liners, I had quite a few for over the summer and spring months, it's been really useful. Um, and I have these done as the Fab 5 ones, but um, actually it's only the Fab 4 because there's no Goofy. So you've got these ones, so you've got ones with just Donald, Minnie and Pluto, which are really cute. A grey pair, which also includes Mickey. And then a pair with all four of them that has, uh, I think it's Team Mickey, yeah, <laughs> really cute. Super nice and comfy, I love Primark socks. And lastly on the sock front are some more Disney ones. Um, these ones are long instead, so they're just starting to come into their element as we head into the cooler autumn months. Um, and it's these ones, so they're Snow White inspired long ones. So it's a poisonous apple, I love the little bow details that these ones have on them. Um, you've got Snow White, and these have a little red bow, which is super, super cute. And then you have these for the evil queen in her chrome form. I love the black, white, red and grey um, colour scheme on these ones as well. I think it's really different um, and really plays up to the red of Snow White, which is pretty cool. Following on from clothes and socks, I also have a pair of Disney shoes that I picked up from Primark. And it is these ones that are just Mickey and Minnie inspired. And I just thought these were super cute cute and subtle, um, well not subtle really, but subtle-ish, um, but yeah, and I just really really like these ones. Next are some Disney beauty pieces, all from Primark still, there are some things that aren't from Primark in this one, I promise. Um, and first up it's these, which are some of their um, Disney nail sets, which are pretty awesome. So I've got the Bambi one, which I thought was really pretty cute, I love the little subtle Bambi pictures, and this one actually matches my Bambi throw, which is pretty cool. And then you've got the Little Mermaid ones, it's just like shell and um, scale and purple and like a turquoise green um, theme, which, so it's a little bit more subtle. Um, I've already used these, so as you can see some of them are a little bit shorter because I cut them off so they were easier to wear. But yeah, they're super cute, I really recommend these. And then I've also got the um, Rose makeup brush for Beauty and the Beast. It was some really, really sweet, 
super, super soft. I haven't actually used it as a makeup brush yet. I think it would make a pretty nice one, but I just quite like having it on display as the rose. <laughs> I also have some jewelry pieces in um, this video, which is pretty cool. So first up is Primark, um, and it's this Harry Potter set, which I really rather like, because you've got a snitch and a Duffy Hallows bracelet. Um, my mum had to help me make these a little bit longer, because um, they're a little bit too small for my wrist, which obviously I didn't know when I picked them up. Um, so fair warning. Um, and then I really like the winged key necklace, and then you've got a winged, winged key earrings, snitch earrings, Duffy Hallows earrings, and then just a plain stud. But yeah, I think these are super cute little sets and really good value for money at five pounds. Then Disney-wise, I've got a couple of pieces that I picked up for some bounds that I did. So firstly, I have this one, which is Snow White inspired one, and you've got um, the Ferris one of all and a little red apple. This one's from Kaiwai. Candy Couture, I think that's the name of the Etsy shop, but yeah, she does some really, really nice Disney inspired stuff, and I think she does non Disney as well, so definitely check her out. And then I've also got this one, which is an Ursula inspired little um, seashell necklace, super subtle, but um, yeah, and this one actually I wear a lot just every day because I really like its design. Now I'm going to show you some of the pieces that have started my pin obsession, both Harry Potter and Disney. So first up is a Primark set for Harry Potter and it's these ones that are just little um, Honey Jukes inspired button badges. So you've just got a simple Sweet Jukes Honey Jukes one. Got just the Honey Jukes logo which is pretty cool. Got the Chocolate Frog one which I rather like. And then you've got black, fiery black pepper imps and acid. So that's pretty cool. Really good for photos actually because they're just a little simple thing that you can add on. Then next up are some Primark and some Disney Store pins um, that are the startings of my Disney denim jacket that I'm working on. So the Primark ones are these little ones of um, Pluto, Minnie and Mickey. Then you've got Goofy down here. And Donald and Daisy, which is pretty cute. And then the Disney Store ones, so you've got this big Maleficent one, Mr. Shovelweevil, you've got a little Oh My Disney button on the collar, and then I've got um, this Charmed I'm Sure one, which is pretty cool, and this one down here, which is Princess Vibes with a little Rapunzel tower, which I pretty like. That is the starting for that. I have a few more pins and patches that I'll show you in some later hauls that I'm working on with for that. Segwaying nicely from pins to bags, I have this awesome bag that I found on EMP, e -M -P, um, which also showcases this little pin that I found on, um, Etsy, on Etsy, which um, I really love because it's my little house one. Um, but yeah, and then I love this bag because it's just got spells on, and then it has a little wand on the key ring which is super duper cute and it's a really nice size this bag for just day trips. The next bag is one that I got for my birthday and um, it's this one which is um, a little uh, nine and three quarters Hogwarts Express trunk purse bag. It's super nice actually. It's not a bad size just for like a little clutch um, and actually what's quite nice is it's not actually too dissimilar to um, a little bag that's come out in Primark now, so it's quite nice that I've got one that's similar, but um, a bit different. And then the last bag is a Disney one, which I'm really, really excited to have. And it is this one, it's Pascal. I absolutely love him, he's really nice detail. I have heard that some, pe some people that the um, finishing is coming off, I haven't used it too much, so maybe that's why mine's still okay, but yeah, I think he's really lovely. He's not a bad size, he's not the biggest, but um, he's not bad at all. And then on the little zip you've got a little tangle lantern which I think is super super cute and I love his little tail. So moving on from bags we go to purses and I have two Primark purses to show you. So first up is this Minnie Mouse one with her little bow and her little shoes. I think this one's super cute, it's a lovely size. I haven't actually used this one properly yet um, because I have my Harry Potter one which I really love um, but um, yeah I will be using this one at times because it is super cute and it's the same size. And then I also have this lovely little cute Dalmatian one. I got it to go in things like my Pascal bag because um, purses this size are too big for it. Um, but yeah, and I just thought this one a patch was super, super cute. My last Harry Potter item is a little bit tricky to show you um, on camera with me. 
so I will show you it now. And it is these rather awesome Harry Potter posters. Um, I've got the Hogwarts Essentials Schools list and the Quidditch one. I thought they were really nice and I can't wait to have my own house to be able to put them up properly and showcase them. The minute they are tucked away ready for when I eventually move out. Um, but yeah, and I just thought they were super, super cute and I love the colourings and the fact that they're a little bit, um, they look like parchment. So yes, I thought they were just really, really cute. Now coming up are just a load of lots of little Disney bits, mostly for around the house. A few that are sort of not around the house, but um, things yeah, I just added to my collection um, in recent months. So first up is this rather cute little Disney Animators Collection flounder from Disney Store. He is super soft and a perfect addition for anyone who likes a little mermaid. From Primark, I got this rather adorable little mermaid um, door hanger. I got it for my bathroom because my bathroom is like mint coloured um, and I thought I could probably start a little bit of an under sea themed bathroom with this one. Next up from Primark, um, I had to pick this one up. Uh, it is the Aladdin teapot, although for me it's literally just an Aladdin lamp that I have on display and I've never used this teapot but I think as an Alad Aladdin replica lamp it is rather awesome. From the same collection I also picked up the Aladdin coasters. So you've got this one of Genie, which I quite like. This one's the lamp, which is pretty awesome. You've got this one of Aquaba. And then you've got one of Princess Jasmine. So yeah, they're super, super cute. And they match the colour scheme in my room pretty nicely, which is pretty cool. Also from Primark, I picked up this rather adorable Marie mug. Um, I have used it a couple of times as an actual mug, but it's a little bit awkward to drink from. So um, I have actually been using it to store makeup brushes more recently, which is pretty cool anyway, because um, she makes a super cute little addition. Next up are some more little homeware additions, um, this time for my kitchen, my future kitchen. Um, so first up is this one from the Disney store and it's this little Mickey Mouse glove ring holder. I thought this would be super cute to have by the sink for when I'm washing up and I need to take jewellery off. Um, and it goes with the sort of red, white and grey theme I think I've actually got going with the other pieces that I've got. And the next one is this rather adorable teapot from Cav Kidson. I have the oven gloves of this range as well and I have um, one of the little cups as well that um, is in this design so I thought this teapot would be a rather awesome addition and again it matches the colour scheme rather nicely which I'm very very happy with. So lastly are a couple of Tangled items which is awesome as Tangled is my favourite Disney film. So first up is this rather adorable one from the Disney store and it's is Rapunzel's Tower. It's technically a salt and pepper shaker. You take the top part off and so you have the two halves but I decided that I never wanted to ever use it as a salt and pepper shaker but just wanted it on display as a rather cute version of Rapunzel's Tower. And lastly is my favourite book I think I probably own apart from um, my Harry Potter illustrators and it is this one which is The Art of Tangled. For any Tangled fan this is most definitely, oh, I'm gonna open a second. Um, this is most definitely the tab. The concept art is just amazing. Um, but yeah, and it's just a super lovely addition to have in my collection. <laughs> so that's it, I hope you enjoyed this super long haul video. Let me know in the comments down below your favourite item. Let me know about any things that you've purchased recently that you are incredibly excited about, as I would always love to hear. If you haven't already, do hit that subscribe button. If you did enjoy this video, do hit the thumbs up button. I'll pop some links here to some other videos that you may be interested in, and I will see you in my next one. See ya!